Hi, I'm Steve Demott. I'm an engineer, producer, musician, husband, father, human being. <laughs> Grew up in a musical family. My father was a drummer. He brought me up on jazz. I hit high school and picked up guitar, gave up the trumpet for the most part and became a rock and roll guitar player. Went off to great music school, got some contacts, and on my way out, my songwriting teacher connected me with a record company, and we were negotiating a contract at the time. It was right about that time that uh, things started to fall apart. Turns out an earlier event in my life had uh, left me with some untreated PTSD, which just reared its ugly head at the worst time. So the next several years, I kind of thought I could get it back and started building things back up, started playing again. A little later on, uh, my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, she was finishing up uh, school. I uh, dragged my recording, my recording stuff down to record one of her recitals. One of the guys, the department head, looked at me and said, hey, you know, we're doing a faculty concert on Sunday. Could you record that? And I was like, yeah, sure. Not doing anything. It was Friday night. You know, we were, we were recording my, my wife's recital and uh, figured out what I was going to do for that, came back, recorded. And that kind of ballooned. I ended up recording pretty much every weekend there, and then all the faculty had side projects where I would record, and it just kept going and going and going. And here I was doing tons of location recording and, and feeling really good about sitting on the other side of the glass. A uh, music director called me one day and said, hey, we have a choral session for a video game lined up. Can you record it? one of the Tom Clancy Hawks games, and, and uh, went in and recorded that, and I'm, I'm looking around myself going, wow, this is like going out to real projects. I mean, this is something that millions of people are gonna listen to, and it, it, was, it was a really kind of a cool moment. It was wild, and that just led to me rethinking and saying, well, maybe I was supposed to be on the other side the whole time. Then about a year and a half ago, I was um, contacted by somebody who I, I knew a little bit from seeing them at the music store uh, around with where we all hung out. And uh, he had built this incredible studio. We met a few times, he showed it to me. He was trying to figure out what he was gonna do with it. And uh, after a couple months of us talking, he, uh, he handed me keys one day and said, hey, look, this place is not going to get used unless somebody who knows how to use it is running things. It's like, so I want you to just take it over. It all came together when I let it come together. When I stopped pushing to be what I thought I was and just let what was happening around me guide me through my steps. It's been a wild ride, but I'm, uh, I'm really happy that I'm here now. <laughs>